Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at the new Timeline Slicer feature within Excel 2013 Now this is a new feature to come out with that version of Excel or this version of Excel and what it does is it provides a nice visual interactive date filter for our pivot tables Now it is exclusively to be used with the date fields of your pivot tables I suspect that within later versions of Excel it will become accessible via a normal kind of tabled data on our sheets uh, like a normal slicer is nowadays but at the moment it is exclusively with our pivot tables so we should look at creating a pivot table first of all then so on this spreadsheet data an A cell selected within it I'm going to look at inserting a pivot table and I'm going to keep this part brief because we want to get to the timeline as part of this tutorial. So we're just going to select our range, new worksheet, fantastic. In it goes, and I'm just going to choose to total up all the order amounts for the salespeople within this table. So I've got this awesome pivot table in front of me at the moment. Now what I want to do is insert a timeline. So if A cell of the pivot table is selected. I want to make sure I am on the Analyze tab and the Pivot Table Tools on the ribbon and I'm going to click Insert Timeline which will now find all the date fields within my Pivot Table now I only have one so pretty short on options here so I think I'll tick that one but it will find the date fields, it is exclusive with the date fields of a Pivot Table and as I click OK here I will get a timeline so here it is, ribbon up top here with various settings that you can change. For now I might just make it a little bit larger and just as a demonstration I will click a month within it. And when I click that month my pivot table will change to show me it. So this timeline is filtering the pivot table. Uh, nice, quick, easy to use being its strengths. Uh, it's very visual, anyone coming up here can see March 2005 written and this bar as well extending the length and equally I can grab these kind of ends of the bar as I hover over it and resize it to also provide you know, some very interactive filtering tool uh, visual and interactive probably the keywords describing uh, this slicer this, this tool now over in our kind of top right hand corner I also have this months drop down at the moment uh, which I believe they call your time level and if I wish to, I could switch this to quarters or to years, you know, some other kind of uh, time period. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So now I can click on a quarter and that will filter it. I could drag that over all the quarters to get the year very quickly or that first two quarters or six months. So very easy to do. Um, extremely useful addition. Now we've always been able to filter dates to a degree, but this is... Uh, you know, fantastic extension of our date filtering abilities within pivot tables. So I guess that one of the best things about this, as it always was with the slicer, is now the fact that this timeline could filter multiple pivot tables. So, for simplicity, I'm just going to copy and paste the pivot table I've got, and just stick another one just a little bit further down, which I will what will I do? Um, I might choose this one by category of product as opposed to salesperson. So I've got one pivot table, let's shorten that ribbon, one pivot table being filtered by salesperson, another one being filtered by category of product. At the moment this filter only affects these two pivot tables um, on our analyze tab of the ribbon or I believe by right clicking on that timeline as well it is true <laughs> uh, we have the option to to set connections for it uh, so if I just pop to uh, options tab under timeline here report connections which you'll see from that right click it has immediately selected both pivot tables to, to filter 
if I wish to, I could always remove one of them. Or you may have other pivot tables on, on other sheets or elsewhere on this sheet. And the ability that we can connect these filters, you know, in this timeline now to specific pivot tables makes it a, a fantastic new addition, especially in regards to working with kind of dashboard sheets and that. Now the timeline will take up a little bit of room on your dashboard. Uh, it's a bit larger than your traditional drop list filter. Um, but it looks good and it's very easy to use and it does a very powerful uh, functionality. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find this new timeline slicer feature very useful in Excel 2013. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at Computer Gaga.